Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to consider here uh, is just walk you through the process of you know, my thinking when I'm creating a 3D model. And in this case, I always think of the object that I'm working with first. And there's a number of things that I have to consider. So one of them is the size of the object, like how big it is, and um, if I can do it on a turntable, if I can leave the object stationary and I go around the object, or if I can put it on a turntable and I rotate the object. So in this case, um, this object is small enough, I can put it on a turntable and I can just move around. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, the other thing that I need to consider on the object is texture. And so you'll see here, I got all these little uh, sort of ripples here, whatever. But when I say texture, I don't mean just geometry. I also mean just the colors, like if there's uh, light, light spots and dark spots and that sort of thing. And this definitely qualifies. So I shouldn't have any problems with that. I shouldn't have a need for coatings or uh, anything else uh, in that regard. Also, the base here is flat. So this is a solid piece of wood. It's been cut. So I don't really need to do anything at the bottom here. If I just create the model this way, I don't really need to flip it. Okay, so um, there are some objects like maybe like a shoe or something like that where you can photograph it, you know, with the sole on the turntable and then after you want to flip it because you want to capture the bottom so you get a full 360 model. But in this case, this is not so important. If I just cut it and make it flat, I can still make a 3D model or a 3D print or whatever. That's no, no problem there. Now, other things that I have to consider with the model here is sort of just the, the geometry and the form. So the main part, the face and everything else, is not really a problem. I don't have a lot of undercuts, but I do on these, uh, this ear section here or these earlobes, you see like the underneath part. Um, you'll see what I'll be doing in this. I'll, I'll probably do this video in two parts. The first part, I will just photograph it normally without flipping or doing anything. And then you'll see what happens. We'll see what kind of details I get, what kind of issues I get. And for the most part, this is actually a really, really good subject to start with. So if you want to try a turntable, something like this that has a lot of uh, flat texture, not too sh shiny, a lot of different features, this would be a really, really good model. Mm -hmm.